We are officially living in the age of live action Disney movies. From the most recent Aladdin to Lion King coming later this month to Beauty and the Beast and Cinderella. It was only a matter of time until Disney announced another live action, The Little Mermaid. Here are 10 things to know about our new Ariel, Halle Bailey, plus the other cast members. Unforgettable. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Azalea Hart. First off, I gotta say that I am super excited that Halle Bailey has been cast as Ariel from The Little Mermaid, not only because she's cute as a button, but because the girl can sing. Perfection is a disease of a nation. Plus, I can't lie, I am looking forward to a little bit extra flavor in The Little Mermaid. Snap to meet her. Face to meet her. So who do you guys think will be cast as King Triton and Prince Eric? I am super excited for this casting. Comment down below your thoughts. I'm not gonna do no mind for you. Halle is one half of the R&B duo Chloe and Halle, which is made up of her and her sister. Beyonce signed Chloe and Halle to her Parkwood Entertainment label after the duo started gaining popularity on YouTube doing covers. This role for Halle will be her breakout role, but you have seen her on TV before, or you haven't. But either way, she's also in Grown-ish, the Blackish spin-off. Now, I don't know if you need a reminder of what The Little Mermaid is actually about, but let me give you one anyway. The Little Mermaid is about Ariel, the daughter of King Triton, who longs to be human after she falls in love with a prince. Ariel makes a deal with the sea witch Ursula, who grants her wish, but takes her voice. Jacob Tremblay is in talks to be the voice of Flounder, Ariel's best friend. Jacob Tremblay is also one of the most in-demand Hollywood stars under 20. He starred with Julia Roberts in the hit drama Wonder and was a key part of Shane Black's Predator. Aquafina is in talks to play Scuttle, the sequel friend who thinks she knows all there is to know about life on land. It's a dingle hopper. I think I really like this spin using a woman instead of a man. Plus, Aquafina is hilarious. She was in Crazy Rich Asians and will be in the upcoming Jumanji sequel. Melissa McCarthy is in talks to be one of the biggest villains in Disney, Ursula. If you're a fan of Disney Channel's movies, we know that Whoopi Goldberg was the voice of Ursula in The Descendants. So who do you prefer? Cast your vote in the comments below. Yeah, well, guess what? I don't like his face. I do think that Melissa McCarthy will do an amazing job though. Director Rob Marshall has been searching for the perfect Ariel for months, but insiders say that Halle was always the front runner. He said that Halle possesses that rare combination of spirit, heart, youth, innocence, and substance, plus a glorious singing voice, all intrinsic qualities necessary to play this iconic role. The film will begin production in early 2020. So this version of The Little Mermaid will incorporate original songs from the 1989 animated version, plus new songs from the original composer, the famous Alan Menken, and Lin-Manuel Miranda, who is also producing the film along with Rob Marshall, who directed Mary Poppins Returns, Mark Platt, who executive produced the live action Aladdin remake, and worked alongside Rob Marshall on Mary Poppins Returns, plus John DeLuca. All right guys, so there are 10 facts about the new live action Disney's The Little Mermaid. How excited are you for this film? Comment down below and let me know. Make sure you also let me know who you think will play King Triton and Prince Eric. Check out some more Disney videos right on over there and make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram at Azalea Zoe. I'll see you next time.